Merci. Uh, so, so I'm speaking English, so it's going to be a good practice for me. Uh, <laughs> and for the people at the, on the, at the international watching on YouTube. So the live stream. So I'm going to concentrate mostly on uh, what we recent recently did to show you which, which direction Electra is taking and talking to you about the informal international network that uh, we have built uh, over the years. So most of you knows that uh, I founded Electra in 1999, and uh, we used to be based at uh, Usine C, which is a great uh, space uh, for performance, mostly in Montreal. So here you can see a view of uh, 2003. It was a piece by Granular Synthesis. It was called 360, another classic from uh, granular synthesis that we showed in 1997 and 2000. A piece, and here it's uh, Ryuchi Kurokawa, Karsten Nikolai at the Museum of Contemporary Art. Another view of using C, so you can see the scale and uh, the kind of production we were doing uh, in the past year. So Electra was mostly um, uh, identified to live performance, AV performance, robotic performance. So with and especially with this equipment, uh, using C, it was uh, a wonderful place to uh, present all those works. Uh, an important milestone was the creation of the International Digital Art Biennale in 2012, so with the BIEN, Biennale International d'Art Numérique. I was able to uh, gather, you know, um, uh, a lot, uh, many people, many galleries, artist centers, museums uh, around the city, you know, to show digital art. So it was a great moment because we were able to, uh, for example, to open at the Museum of Fine Arts with uh, a premiere of a video installation by Robert Lepage, for example, to have a new piece by Karsten Nicolai at the Museum of Contemporary Art. Mm -hmm. 2014, also we had all those satellite exhibitions, but uh, this time I was able to curate a more important exhibition at the Contemporary Art Museum here. So we have a view of the museum with our uh, promo campaign visual. 2016, so we also kept all the, uh, we had all those uh, satellite exhibitions uh, that were presented us all around the city, so we had galleries like uh, Oboro, Elephant, uh, House of Cultures, many places like that. But we, were, we had the opportunity to show uh, a large exhibition at Arsenal Contemporary Art, which was quite uh, an amazing, uh, which is quite an amazing venue for, to, you know, to show contemporary art. The thematic was uh, automata, art made by machines for machines. Like I said at the beginning, it's, uh, it, was m it's a show it wasn't a show about robots, but it was a show about immortality. In this exhibition, we had uh, more than 50 uh, artists from around the world. Switzerland was the guest country, and we had a delegation from France, uh, Cor South Korea, and also uh, artists from uh, Germany, Belgium, etc., and Canada, of course, Quebec. Mm -hmm. So I'll show you this uh, our promo video for the exhibition and the performance uh, part of this year's Electra and uh, Bien. Thank you. 
So this this gives you a good idea of the exhibition. So I'll show you some uh, works we presented with some comments. So this was the uh, entrance of Arsenal, a view of the exhibition here. So it's a 70,000 square feet uh, space. Uh, so we had the first weekend of performance and uh, one month long of exhibition. This is the opening night. Mm -hmm. The view of the entrance with the Orlan works. Uh, so Switzerland, the guest country, uh, three works by Peter Lang, P. Lang, if you want. Uh, the interesting thing with Arsenal is uh, because they have a commercial uh, a gallery upstairs, so we were able to create <coughs> links. So to interest some collectors. And the, the owner of Arsenal, in fact, bought, was interested by four works. Finally, he bought uh, two works. So the, the, paper, the paperwork you should just saw, and the rings from Peter Lang. Mm. Voila. Another piece by Peter Lang. Zimun, another classic. He was interested by this one, but it's a bit complicated <laughs> to move. Voilà. Lucas Trinigère, uh, a uh, Swiss artist coming, just coming out from Le Frenois in France, an al uh, algorithmic uh, piece, installation, Benjamin Musin, from Germany, Robot Lab. So, um, this, the ro that's the piece called uh, Bios Bible, Bible. So during one month, the robot was writing the Bible. Martin Bach, so it, that was the karaoke machine. Uh, from uh, South Africa, Nel Marie Duprez, for vi video pieces uh, inspired or uh, uh, we had uh, from South Korea the artists that sh that were representing South Korea at the latest uh, Venice Venice Biennale here. So we showed their video piece. Ad other uh, South Korean artists, their catching machine those strange loops. Lu Yang from uh, China. She was also uh, part of the China Pavilion at the last uh, Biennale of Venice. Patrick Tresse with his five uh, robotic arms doing portraits. Orlan, that's a piece, an unmounted reality piece. Julien Maire, Pascal Le Dressy, a video piece, The Value of Art. So you know about this piece, uh, as more and more people look to the piece, uh, the, the painting, t uh, the value of the, pa the painting increase uh, along the exhibition. So. I was trying to sell it, but it was too expensive at the end. <laughs> Felix Luke Sanchez, another algorithmic uh, piece. Another algorithmic uh, piece by Sebastien Lacombe, Tapestry. Matthew Biederman, that was a commission we did to him. Bill Vaughan. Uh, another commission we did, a uh, young artist from uh, coming out from uh, Concordia University also. Paolo Almorio is, is a Colombian artist living in Saguenay. So it's also a commission, so I asked him to, um, to do a special version of a piece he did uh, 
previously with portraits of people who destroy his house in Colombia. So in that case, we chose uh, uh, and it was eight uh, f important figures from uh, who were very important in terms of development of uh, te technology, digital technology. And there's a robotic system destroying the piece uh, during the month. Voila. Ben Bogart, a piece. Another algorithmic piece based, this one, uh, this, this one is based on 2001. Two classics from uh, Laura Kiko Kahneman and White and Tom Sherman. A beautiful piece by Australian artist Sean Gladwell. Curry Archangel, his Photoshop series. Oliver Larrick, The Hunter and the Dog well-known piece also and here this is the uh, the main uh, performance piece we had so it's called Inferno we're co-producer of that piece to Montreal native artist Bill Vaughan is teaching at Concordia University Louis Philippe Demers is now teaching in Singapore so the concept of this piece is there is 24 exoskeleton the performance lasts one hour. We take 48 inscription, and uh, so the people ask to wear those exoskeletons, and they are controlled by the artist. At the end, there's a 25th uh, person with a wireless exoskeleton that controls the 24 others. So that was quite an amazing piece. Voila, with the artist. Always at Arsenal. Audio robotic performance by Jean Pichet. Jean Pichet and Patrick Saint Denis. Jean Pichet is teaching at University of Montreal. Another audio performance by Edwin van der Heide and Jan Peter Sontag. A performance uh, also from Switzerland here, from Boris Edelstein, which is, uh, is the founder of Mapping Festival. All the so for the exhibition, I, I worked with uh, a couple of co-curators. So I worked with uh, Anna Asensio from Mapping Festival for the Swiss artist, Duane Choi for the Korean and Chinese artist, and Gilles Alvarez for the French artist. And Blue Remix, you know, that's a very strange piece where the performer sweat blue. Nel Marie Duprez uh, did, li she made, uh, she performed live this her piece with a knife. Simon Laroche, David Santo, also from Concordia University. That's a piece we showed also at the Museum of Contemporary Art, but I thought it was in in very interesting to bring it back uh, at Arsenal. We had also a performance by Jean-Sébastien Jean Bayard and Patrick Trudeau in the SAT Dome on St. Laurent Street. And uh, since 2006, we're doing, uh, you know, I had the idea to um, do an international marketplace for digital art. I thought that it, that was really something missing in our uh, community. Uh, so since then we brought, uh, I'm quite sure, over 3,000, uh, 300, sorry, um, producers, curators uh, from around the world. The concept is uh, simple. During two afternoon, it's in parallel to Electra. We choose 14 international producers, 14 artists from Canada, Quebec, and uh, the artists do their pitch, and the producers show what, they, what, what they're doing in their festival venues, etc. And this, at the beginning, I wanted to create a more formal network, but uh, you know, right after the first year, I thought it's better to let the people uh, talk themselves, you know, to network themselves uh, all together. 
and it gave very, very good results, especially by the fact that we have um, very good artists in Quebec, so they were quite in demand, and so we were able to disseminate our artists uh, in most uh, uh, festivals, uh, especially in Europe, Asia, South America. This was the... Um, the launch of uh, new pieces on by Sedition, based in London. So here, as you can see, you see Ashley Wong from Sedition, and Matthew Biederman was uh, launching new pieces there. And uh, here, this is the international part. So uh, we started to show uh, our artists, uh, mostly from Quebec, uh, let's say from 2006, the Quebec delegation in Paris worked a lot to, c to create this event called Quebec Numérique at the Châtelet. So that was a, a whole evening of Quebec artists. It was created by Richard Castelli, and we had Jean Pichet also, Mathieu Biederman, Yann Brûleux, etc. The Quebec delegation brought us also at the Grand Palais for the after of uh, Ete de la Danse, where the Grand Palais Canadiens were doing a show, and after ev uh, every evening, the first week, we were presenting works, and especially we can see the uh, floating cubes from uh, Nicolas Reeves with projection on them. A piece I showed at Tanga Bicoca with Jan Brule. Herman Colgan was part of this also. 2010, we were invited by Dwayne Choi, which was a curator working at the Nabi Center in uh, Seoul. So uh, this is a new quartier, neighborhood in Incheon. Incheon is the airport city in South Korea, so the, uh, the Nabi Center was commissioned to present a festival, so we had, uh, as you can see, an installation and performance by Herman Colgan, the interactive uh, telephone bubble piece by, uh, bubble gum piece by Jean Dubois, uh, there was a piece with uh, Jan Breleux, that was quite an inter inter interesting moment, and that uh, in 2011, we started this uh, Quebec Digital, um, those Quebec Digital events. Um, so, uh, in 2011, the idea was the Quebec artists would go to Paris and the French artists would come in 2012, three minutes, thank you, would come in uh, Montreal. So, we showed the uh, pieces in Gaîté Lyrique also at the 104, the 104. There was Brussels in 2013 at the Palais des Beaux-Arts. Workshop, games, art games, installations, performance, market activity also. Uh, London, March 2015, performances. We had a market activity also there, over there. Uh, October 2015, we had Quebec Digital Roma, so we were part of the Roma Europa Festival, the Digital Life uh, Exhibition, Louis-Philippe Demers with his blind robots, Inferno, Nicolas Bernier, Jean Dubois, Paris, December 2015, Mathieu Biederman, Herman Colgan, the five uh, robots from Inferno again, Michel de Bruin, Samuel Saint, Samuel Saint Aubin, Maxime Damcourt, et voilà. So those are the actions and uh, all the things we did on the mostly on the international. Thank you very much. Thank <laughs> you.